Hey guys, it's Sydney and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing kind of like a get ready with me video, but um, I'll be doing like my go-to summer makeup look, like just a glowy, fresh summer look, not as much makeup. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be kind of chatty. I kind of look like a ghost right now. I kind of look like a naked mole wrap, but you know, that's all going to change pretty, pretty freaking soon. So before we get started, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Turn on those little notifications so you get notified when I post. I post every Wednesday, sometimes Thursday, you know, because like life just happens. But yeah, I got my coffee. I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. Ready to get this morning started. So this is going to be kind of like a chatty um, get ready with me just because uh, I don't know. I feel like these are more entertaining than like talk throughs. So I'm priming my face with the NYX Angel Veil. So today I got some things to do. I literally, whenever I have like a day where I have things I want to accomplish, I always write myself a sticky note and like I make a list because I love, I love lists and everything. I think I might use this foundation. Look at how <laughs> different it looks on me. Because recently I've been mixing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus with my Maybelline Fit Me. I've been mixing these two together because they're two different shades and two different formulas and I just like how they go together. But today I want to be a little bit more dewy, summery, so I think I'm going to use this. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation in the shade 2.2. So I'm just going to do a pump of that and put it on with my Beauty Blender. As you could tell, I buy my foundation a couple shades darker than my actual like face um, skin tone because I always have sunscreen on my face like whenever I'm tanning or something to protect my skin so I always have to match my face to the rest of my body with my foundations and you know I don't really mind that because I'm gonna have nice skin when I'm older so yeah pro tip if you want to do that I would totally do that it does make matching your foundation a little bit more difficult but I think it's very worth it and I like this foundation because it's not um, full coverage, it's kind of like a sheer coverage. So it makes me feel like I'm not wearing as much foundation. And I like that because like especially right now in Arizona, it's really freaking hot. And I do not want to feel like a cake face in, like when it's 120. So yeah. So yesterday I just got like um, home, like back to Arizona from being away for like three weeks. I went home for two weeks and then the last week I was in St. Louis for um, Pi Beta Phi convention. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, then you guys like would have known that. You would have would have seen all that. but. I am finally back and getting back to work and back to my groove and I cannot freaking wait like literally going like ugh. <laughs> going home is nice but like not working while I go home is not nice and so I like have no money but even though I had no money when I was home the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette went out Yep, and I bought it. So it's still not in yet though. Still waiting for it. I think I'm going to literally put a dot of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer under my eyes. Just get a little bit of a little bit of dark eyes. You guys can't tell really on camera, but I can. Then I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder that I put in this little guy because the packaging for that sock. And I'm just gonna take it in like the cap with this big Real Techniques powder brush and set my entire face because it's hot and I do not wanna look 
super gross. Is there anyone else out there like you are a dewy gal? Like you kind of like I have like combination skin. Sometimes it's oily as frick. Sometimes it's dry as frick. And so when like it's on those super oily days, I don't get how like dewy skin is like this trend because I'm like, Ugh. like, dude, I don't want dewy skin. I want my skin to look like a desert when it's on those oily days. You know what I'm saying? I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, by the way, to bronze up my face. Jawline though. Then the blush I'm gonna use is Armoretto from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Just because I feel like this blush is a really nice blush. Because um, it's a darker one to, for like a summer tantastic glowy makeup routine. It just like. Oh. Mm. Mm. All right, zoomed you guys in. Moving to the eyes. I'm taking my Mac Tannerly Paint Pot to prime my lids. Then I'm going to take my butter bronzer again and a fluffy crease brush and literally keeping it monochromatic and tan. And um, I'm just gonna put this like in my crease. Oh yeah. Bronzers are such good crease shades, like, I love makeup. Just warms it up a little, you know? Just warms it up. I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows because just looking at them like this is kind of driving me insane. And I'm going to be using my usual brow duo that I always use, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. These are like the two best drugstore brow products, like, Ever, I'd have to say. I got my brows done. My brows are always like distant cousins, like second cousin twice, three times removed. It's it's fine. I don't really care. So now I'm just gonna get back to the eyes. I'm kind of all over the place. It's how I always am with my makeup. I'm just gonna kind of sloppily do some eyeliner because I'm not trying to like really go extreme. Um, I'm using the Avon Glimmer Sticks Liquid Glide Eyeliner. And I'm just gonna kind of just smudge on some black stuff on my eyes. Shit. So I got some eyeliner on my eyes. Just really like simple top eyeliner. And then I'm just going to curl my lashes with the L'Oreal Voluminous Originals. For some reason, I just got like really excited to get my day started. Like I'm not doing anything like super amazing or like exponential, but I just got really excited. First, I'm going to lunch with Austin and then I'm gonna go to Buffalo Exchange, try to get rid of some clothes. The clothes that I don't get rid of at Buffalo Exchange, I'm gonna put on my Poshmark, which is linked in the description, so definitely go follow my Poshmark for when those go up, and you can buy my clothes. And then I have work, but like, I don't know. I'm really excited for the day all of a sudden, but it's kind of a good feeling, you know? And last but not least, I'm going to add some highlight. I'm gonna add Prosecco Pop from the Jaclyn Hill palette just to glow it up a little more can't really tell with this lighting so that is it for this get ready with me you can't really tell with like my lighting because it's just so like kind of cool toned lighting but I just kept my makeup very monochromatic just kind of like all tan neutral shades so I have that like summery glow kept it very simple as well didn't use like a lot of makeup products um, just because it's summer and I don't want to feel like weighed down on my face but I still want to look good and stuff since I have to go into work today <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already leave any um, requests down below and I will I will cater to your requests for sure 
Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm like buzzing on coffee right now, so time to get the day started. But yeah, alright. I love you guys. Bye.